we have to keep a bit of distance maybe not we are a fortress after all can we still afford to like twirl around these guys i think we can oh gosh i know what you're about come here right away come here okay good 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 want to survive here as long as we can there's bastion okay good 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 Oh, that was fun, man. That was fun to support this whole... Oh, shoot. They're still alive. All right. Welcome, everyone. And today in B-Man Plays Indies, we're checking out Phage X Hyperspace Survivors. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. This is a Bullet Heaven, Horde Survival Arena, Survival Rogue, like all that good stuff that, that I would say is a very unique take on the genre. Big huge thanks to the devs for sending us over a key to check out the game. Check the links down below for more details about the devs and where you can find the game. And I always love it when devs try to push what you can do with the inner genre, especially for the uh, survivors like survivors genre <laughs> we need a we need a uniform label for that anyway especially for this genre we're in the gameplay is very simple it started with a very simple presentation very simple mechanics and now we're seeing a lot of games try to take the genre to new height and i'm all for it so quickly here before we actually go on our actual run there's two modes here survival mode we're in it's 15 minutes i haven't gone the full 15 minutes yet and then there's fleet assault fight your way to the top through waves of enemy ships. I've tried this only very quickly. I'm not yet sure what it is about, but we're gonna go for survival here. And I'm gonna turn on the tutorial because I think the tutorial does a good job of showing the unique mechanics in the game. So you actually start with just this one ship, a Comet, a well-balanced and easy to use ship. SP tech grants invincibility, but loses control. Gain tech meter by moving and drains if not. So a lot of terms right there. That's why I wanted to go through the tutorial really quickly here. But his starting arsenal is the Comet Dash, that's his SP tech, and the weapon is the Auto Cannon. I actually unlocked a couple of ships already, but we are going to go for this one, the most basic one for the tutorial. And you get a support spaceship. Right now, I only have one, which is the Avalon, a support craft specializing in point defense. It can target enemies from any direction, becomes a safe haven with support abilities, warps in at a location near the player's ship. And I think that this is one of the uh, biggest mechanics of the game, the, uh, the support ship. Okay, let's just go right in so that we can see what the game's about instead of me going on nonstop trying to talk about it. Okay, we got movement and aiming, very basic. You can turn on and off your manual fire and auto fire. I'm all about auto fire. Here we go. SP tech, activate the ability with the right mouse click, requires an, am an amount of tech meter to use. And tech meter, as you can see here, is under our health points. For details, check the for on gaining the meter. Look at the pause menu. You got the equipment slots here. So you got the weapon slots on the left. This spaceship has three slots for it. Only one for SP tech and three for passive slots as well. Okay. Can check the pause menu here. So we gain tech meter here on the right by moving and it drains when we don't move. So you can see here, the orange bar starts to fill when we keep moving and it drains when we stop. And this is the, the, um, the tech right here. It's ready to go, but it's not going to do much if you don't have the meter full. And you don't pick up gems in this game. Instead, by killing enemies... You gain, you gain the level, and you can see that we're leveling up as it is without picking up anything. Destroy enemies to gain experience. Gain one arsenal point after gaining a level. We have it on the lower right here. The blue one is the arsenal point. So let me show you right here. The orange bar is filled. I can use the skill now, and it drains. It, oh, this is actually perfect that we got the pause here. It actually drains when he's doing his dash. Every ship, by the way, has a different SP tech. So this only applies for this ship. So if you only charge your, uh, what is it called? Your tech meter up halfway, then the ability only lasts for that long. So call for support. Summon the support craft for extra firepower. Approach it to access the shop. That's what I was saying about upgrading where the ship can be upgraded. But there you go. There's the ability. So. We have one arsenal point. Let's go and summon the ship. There it is. You actually have the dock. So he's firing. You can see you actually have the dock here. And you get a roll of abilities to select from. Support shop. Spend arsenal points for upgrades. This is the symbol for requisition points. These are the ones 
um you're gonna be spending the requisition points on the one on the right here to support some up uh some equipped upgrades can be sold select the item slots for details damage okay stat modifier speed rate of fire we all we know all about that cool uh cool down time reduction maximum health points and region the support craft can provide services while summoned these actions cost requisition points and gets more expensive with each use control each weapon's firing behavior oh right 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 i forgot about this you can actually set everything manual or auto in the um the pause menu okay so this is our first uh, choice here. We have two arsenal points and five requisition points. These are the support abilities. We don't actually need any of these right now, although we have some missing health. And you can see here the cost um, to, to be able to do this also here down here. But then, then this always increases every time you use it. Bastion mode, there it is. Burst cannons. This is, what is this one? Priority summon. Oh yeah, yeah, reduce the cooldown of the summon. So let's see what's on offer in the arsenal. Emit a hacking signal that lasts for five seconds. Hacking signal slows enemies by 50%. Okay, um, I think, um, okay, let's go get the, the hacking module here. Let's also, we can upgrade the auto cannon and you can see the, the levels here, what each level does. You can buy that. And that's it. We're out of arsenal points, so the ship is going to stay here for a while. Anomalies occur as the enemy force starts building up. Keep this value low by destroying elite enemies. And an incursion rate. Win the objective to win in the scenario. Survive within the remaining time and go to the escape warp once it appears. Okay. So it's going to support you for a while. Whatever abilities do you, um, you wanted, uh, you activated will, will happen right there. And I think that's going to be it for the uh, the tutorial. Okay, we're back here in the main menu. And the transportal is where you can do your progression, your upgrades, and unlocks. Um, uh, we don't know what this is yet. So, you can see here, warp call. That is, we're going to spend five of these, Um, I forgot what they're called, but they're warp. Let's just call them warp points. We have 51 of them right now. Let's do a warp call right now that's going to unlock one of these um, missing ships here. That's a pretty cool animation, I would say. So we got the comet. Wait, what? What happened here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's the same ship. I'm guessing it got upgraded, right? Because um, before, every time I did the warp call, I was able to unlock these two ships. So let's see if we can customize right here. And it looks like... I don't know. I don't know if the stats were upgraded here or whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a random thing. It's purple now. Oh no, everything is at purple. Anyway. So far though, the ship I've tried all these all three of these ships, and the one I've connected with the most is the fortress. It's a heavily armed ship. Lacks in speed, but its armor gives it extra health and weapons. Tech meter shows the arm so like I said. The, uh, the, the whole tech thing changes from ship to ship. Tech meter shows the armor's health points. SP tech is unusable if the armor is destroyed. Let me see right here. Only one passive slot. Let's see what we want to we wanna, um, modify here. I'm actually going to upgrade its passive slots. This is all damage, speed rate of fire and all that it costs a lot though for such a small upgrade so i'm gonna go for the um uh yeah okay wow it gave us two more passive slots that should be interesting okay so we're gonna go for a run here with the fortress and why i like the fortress is it's very tanky um it has Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the Comet a while ago, you had to aim. It was auto-firing, but you had to aim that weapon that it started with, the auto-cannon. The Fortress, you don't have to aim it. That's one of the reasons why I like it. It's equipped with a four-point defense of auto-cannons. Auto-fires against incoming drones. And then there's this whole repair thing. Its ability is the full burst, which is basically just a burst of all your weapons. Rate of fire by 100%. Last five seconds. Okay, let's go. Only one support, still the Avalon. And we shall go. Let's go, Fortress.
So you can see here that the yellow bar is full. That means that is our armor for the fortress. And it's I feel like it's a very strong ship. The only problem is with it is that and you can see it's gonna auto fire even if I'm not aiming directly at these enemies. The only problem is you cannot lose this armor. Because once it's gone, you are not gonna get it back. I actually had an experience with that in one of my runs trying out the fortress i thought i could repair the armor but it turns out once you lose it it's gone so the the uh the docking ship is ready but i'm gonna try to amass a little bit more we got damage right there a little bit more arsenal points so that we can do a lot of upgrades with one dock four arsenal points i think that's pretty good let's call it in here we go Give me something good. Um, homing missiles. This is the fortress core. Rate of fire. Movement speed by 30% if armor is destroyed. Ooh, this is interesting. This is a passive. Hmm. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Hmm, full burst. This is the auto cannon missile. I am actually gonna tr take this, um... Fortress core, since we have more um, passive slots now. Fortress shell. So this is the upgrade path for it. And this is very, very strong. As as long as as you have your armor. So, as, so this is what you lose. As soon as we lose our armor, we lose this. The fortress shell and everything that comes along with it. So if you spend all your points upgrading this and then you lose the armor, bye-bye. You have to depend on your other stuff. The hacking module again. Auto cannon. Phase cloak. I'm gonna go fortress shell here which gives us 40 percent armor restore ah we got the plasma blade which is what i've found to be a pretty op weapon i would say in the game so we're gonna take that and then we can get the level two for it but i am we only have one more arsenal point i am gonna go for let's go for xp here uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for XP here so that we can um, level up much faster. So we're out. We don't need any of the supports for now. So out we go. Leaving in five seconds. So with the fortress, you actually don't need to do a lot of moving around. Which is another thing <laughs> that I quite like. The comet, the first ship that, that, that uh, they give us is pretty... Um, even the, its ability, the whole dash thing, it's not for me. It's not. I'm not all for like running around and um, you know, trying to uh, evade stuff. I want to stand here and actually face these guys. We got a bigger ship. I'm gonna turn on my ability right now for a lot of firing. Although we did not hit them, unfortunately. This is taking a while for us to take these guys down. This guy's almost down. You can see the visual change in the ship. Oh gosh, our armor is um pretty bad here. So I'm gonna call in my my ally here. We need some help. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Um, okay, fortress shell adds two spread firing missile pods to the fortress shell's weapons. I like that. The spread shard is also something I would eventually want to get. Ooh, reactive armor release damaging shrapnel around the ship when it's hit. Has a cooldown of three seconds. I am gonna go for fortress shell here. I want missiles. We need more weapons right now. We have three more. Plasma blade. What is this one? Singularity bomb. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Not feeling that too much. I'm gonna go for the plasma blade here. Another upgrade for it. And then I am gonna get these um point defense lasers. What is this one? Self overclock. 30% chance to trigger instant reload for each weapon. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna get for the point defense laser. These are just good um closer range defense slash more defense oriented weapons. Fires at incoming drones and missiles. I'm gonna get that one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Reduce cooldown of the full burst. Fortress core. Singularity bomb. Sounds interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna get the full burst upgrade here. And I'm actually gonna do some repairs right now. 
Um, so we have 40%, right? Armor should heal up a bit. Okay, we're back to 99%. Good. There's also, um... There are upgrades. No, not upgrades. There are pickups for the, um... What do you call this? There are pickups for health and all that, but I'm not gonna risk it. We actually took a lot of damage there because we did not pick up a new weapon before those, um... Stronger ships came. Okay. We're fine, though. We're fine. Our ability is back. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Avoid this, um, swarm right here. Oh, more of them, huh? Okay, we got a lot of arsenal points from that, though. From that swarm right there. I'm gonna hit you with my plasma blade, dude. That is what I like about the plasma blade, all by the way. Aha! It's just, it just makes quick work of these ships. Although our plasma bl blade is still pretty weak right now. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to repair again here. Can I call it in? Okay. Man, need to repair again. Experience gain. We need more, we need more right now. Um, I am gonna get spread shard or the homing missiles. I'm gonna get the homing missiles here. Mm-hmm. We have two more weapon slots. I'm gonna get the spread shard. It's a kind of like a shotgun type of weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, missile, spread shard. Let's get more missiles here. We actually have a lot of arsenal points. What is this one? Duration for the full burst. Um, I'd rather get more... Um, decrease the cooldown for the point defense laser here. Make a stronger... Uh, fortress shell rate of fire by 30%. That's pretty good. Increase movement speed if we lose the armor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't I don't want to lose my armor, but I'm not going to deny myself that. Um, ooh. Upgrade. Okay. Plasma blade. We're going to add another blade to the ship. Let's get that one. We have two more to go. This is... Okay. All repairs restore armor at 80% of the repair amount. Good. And the last one is... Two railgun cannons to the fortress shells weapons. Yes, yes. Get that repair thing. Mm, ooh, more plasma. Output size by 50%. I'm gonna get more of the point defense lasers, though. Okay, we're out. But we are gonna do another repair here, unfortunately. Okay. We're much stronger now. I'm, I'm expecting that we don't need... A lot of repairs anytime soon after the, these um last set of upgrades. Let's do a plasma. Oh, that was actually an elite ship. But because of our plasma here, which again, I find to be OP, especially when you do this um twirling around here, slicing up everyone. So we have three right now, by the way. These are the plasma. One pointing forward and two towards the side. That's the plasma. And we can upgrade that even further. And, um, pickups are also shown in the UI. We don't have any right now. Okay, like I said, we're much stronger right now. I'll, um, I'll say it when we actually have something on the UI pointing to a pickup. Right now, we don't have any. That is weird because my previous run, I got a lot of, um... Got a lot of, um, health pickups. Ooh! Okay, burst time, burst time. Good. This is a dangerous swarm, by the way. That can instant- actually instantly kill you. Okay. Here we go, we have a repair, uh, pickup here. So if we go further from the- You can see here, they're pointing towards the direction of where the pickups are. Very, very useful. There's no minimap, but that is very useful. Okay, we can actually call in our ship again here. We have six arsenal points. Let's get these guys first before we call in the ship. Oh, oh, snap. Big guy, big guy. We have to get him quickly. We have to get this guy quickly. This guy ramps up. If we let that thing, that circle thing charge up, we are in for some trouble. Okay, he's out, he's out. Now we can call in... Ooh, let's pick these up first. Arsenal points and warp points. Okay. Whew. Survived that one. More plasma. Increase blade output size by 50%. 
I actually forgot to use my um full burst, huh? Increase region. This is all for when armor is destroyed. So this is kind of like a backup plan because my previous run, I lost my armor and then I did not have any of this. So this is like a backup plan, which is good. Full burst. I don't want the auto cannon. We still have one weapon slot. I'm going to get more plasma blades here. Uh, Full burst. What do we want for our last weapon? EMP bolt. Uh, still not seeing anything I like in particular. Let's get the full burst upgrade here. Spread shard is a yes. Got this one. Mm, they're still giving me the same choice of weapons. Got booming missiles here for some range. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I think this is the final upgrade. Two railgun cannons for the fortress shells weapons. Um, wow, it's only 20 seconds for the full burst. Ooh. Okay, I'm so interested in this one. I think I want to get this one. Fire a condensed ball. It's a hazard. Pulls objects. Ah, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm a wuss. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm going to get the uh, railgun here. I don't think we have a problem with XP right now, so we're fine with that. Um, oh yeah. Rate of fire for the spread shot. It's kind of like a form of defense for us as well. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna get the uh, EMP bolt. Maybe the slowdown thing can work well for us. Mm, homing missile. Shards. Okay, EMP bolt. Let's have you catch up here. Ooh, yes. What is this one? Full burst. 20 seconds. That is huge, man. Um, I'm gonna go get the point more far, but a point defense here. Okay, we're out. Do we need to heal up here? We're four. Ah, uh, fine. Not gonna. Yet. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go. Okay. Got more requisition points here. There goes the Avalon. Okay. Smaller enemies shouldn't be a problem. We can handle that pretty handily. What is that, like, Sonic-looking thing? Huh, maybe I should have picked up the, um... The auto cannon instead, because those are actually pretty good when upgraded. Gotta keep twirling here. Ooh, we got a repair. Good. Auto burst. I mean, full burst here. Okay, now we're getting health pickups here. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna reserve it, though. I'm gonna stay within range here of these uh, health pickups. Maybe I should have picked up the uh, auto cannons, huh? They're fi they only fire forwards. They're not too bad. Ooh, two elites. Okay. Ow. Okay, not a good spot. Not a good spot. And it, they gave it at the same time as the swarm. Where is this elite? Come here. I might actually call in backup for this one. Okay, we got health pickups here. Where is this guy? Got another health pickup. He's up there. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow. I'll call in backup here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. Homing missiles, fortress core. <laughs> if the armor is destroyed. Um, I wonder though, if we still ha are gonna get, are gonna get this upgrade path if we lose the armor. I think so, right? <laughs> I hope so. I'm gonna get more homing missiles though now right now because we need more range. We need more range. We have 15 requisition points. EMP bolt. Eh. Ah, that, maybe that's the thing that's like the sonic looking thing that I'm uh, talking about. Okay, missiles launched. Um, let's get more XP here. And then let's get more missiles. Okay. We're out. Um, I am not 84%. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to... Let's get this guy. 
Good. Okay, I see some repairs. Okay, he survived. Good choice not doing the um the repair right there. We are we have eight minutes to go. Keep twirling here. We have 20 experience, not experience points. Okay, we got an incoming wave up there. This is very interesting. Oh, the auto cannons do a good job of handling this. But it is hitting me. <laughs> I don't know if I should be twirling, but I'm twirling. I love my plasma blades. Okay. Full burst, full burst on this swarm. That's going to pick us up some arsenal points. And fortress really feels like a fortress. You know? Feels like a, a mobile base of sorts. Is there still someone alive here? We got a health pickup. Oh, we gotta get rid of this guy quick. Quick, 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 quick. Good. Oh, plasma blades for the win, like I said. Okay, we got a health pickup here. We got some arsenal points up there. Oh. Ship is ready. I'm just gonna pick up uh, another arsenal point here. And then we should get the ship in here. Okay. Whew. Let's see what we have. Um, pull down to 20 seconds. Ooh, more for the blades. Add a bursting extension to the plasma blades at set intervals. Okay. I'm actually gonna go for this one to 20 seconds. We have four more upgrades to go. Fire spread of five burst shells after the duration. Uh, I'm gonna get the plasma blades. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Uh, I'm tempted to get more XP. But let's get more point defense laser. Mm. Fortress core. Experience game by 50% if armor is destroyed. You know, I kind of want to get this just for like an insurance policy in case we can't do the upgrade path if we lose the shell. Uh, rate Oh, more rate of fire by 30%. Not even if with the fortress shell, that, that's what it's about. Mm. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, rate of fire. Let's go. That's 30% more rate of fire pretty much for a lot of our weapons. Um, do we need anything from here? How many minutes do we have to go? I kind of want to get this. The, uh, reduce the cooldown time for the next support. Okay, we're going to bank on ourselves and not do that. Six minutes to go, huh? Okay. Maybe I should have picked that one up. Ooh, our ship is looking pretty badass right now. Ooh, 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 wave. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That was a bad wave. Oh, no, don't instant death me. Don't instant death me. Woo. I said, said it before, those swarms are pretty crazy. It's a good thing we have some health pickups here. Armory bear. Okay. Okay, we cannot go... Just simply toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. We have to keep at a bit of distance. Maybe not. We are a fortress after all. No need to keep our distance. Handle, handle that pretty easily. We are indeed a fortress. I love it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, twirl. Got another elite there. I might call in backup for this one. Let's go homing missiles. Oh, they got a wave to go along with it. Okay, it's getting nutty right now. We need backup. We need backup. We lost. We we just lost the um armor. Doc, doc, doc. Oh my gosh. Uh, we, uh, okay, we lost the armor. Oh, and we lost one of our weapons. What is what did we lose? We have 15 arsenal points though. Oh my gosh. I want to survive this. Come on. Let's get the auto cannon. Should we? Uh, is it the time to get the auto cannon? Fine, I'm gonna get it. So I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm glad. Okay, here we go. 
here we go here we go it's still on fortress score is still here so we're out we don't have the armor anymore increase output size by 20 percent if armor is destroyed hmm what does that mean output size like weapon size i'm guessing i kind of want to upgrade spread shard but i want to see what this is about wait what okay we did get it okay oh okay so it's only spread shard that's not fully upgraded so we're probably gonna get that that one oh but also auto cannon is our new weapon shards fired to 20 sounds good to me let's take that one okay more for the auto cannon uh-huh oh yeah the emp bolt is also not fully upgraded increase bullet count to 22 two per shot that is huge that's gonna completely change the feel of the weapon why is this still here i don't know but i'm gonna upgrade my auto cannon here we're gonna go for a bit of more range now uh, bullet count to three per shot. Yes. XP gain. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're not... We're pretty close. We're just a few minutes away. So I'm, I'd rather do more damage. Uh, more, more cooldown upgrades. I think. Uh, rate of fire. Yes. Let's get the EMP bolt going. Only three more points to spend. Regen. Oh boy, regen. Uh-huh. Why is this still here? Oh, I don't know what that was for, but okay. Okay, let's go and max out the, the EMP bolt here. XP, speed, regen. Let's go rate of fire. And now we have to spend on this. We need to repair. Good. We're back up to 100, but we don't have armor anymore. And then I want to do this. Cool down for the next support craft summon. Uh-huh. Down to 94 seconds. Ooh, that's not a lot. I think I want to do this. Bastion mode. Right now. 7. That's 7 points. This is 8. I'm going to rather do the offense here. Let's go. Ability activated. There you go. It'd be good to try this. And then let's go and reduce this even further. Uh, I think that's it. Let's reserve some. Let's believe that we're gonna actually going to survive this. Okay, good. We actually did survive it. Is there still an elite or something here? Oh, we lost the shell. But now our movement speed is pretty crazy. We only have five minutes to go. We have the auto cannon now. Oh boy. Oh boy, I feel bare. Hmm, maybe I should have spent more on... Oh, but we don't have our full burst anymore. That is a huge loss, man. So now we actually have to aim the, uh, the auto cannon, if you can see it. Can we still afford to like twirl around these guys? I think we can. Oh gosh. I know what you're about. Come here. Right away. Come here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Do we? Ha do I get some health pickups? Please give me some health pickups. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wave incoming. Okay. I'm going back and forth between defending here. Oh, health, health, health. Good. Okay, ship is ready. I'm gonna gather more requisition points. We're up to 36. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna call it in for support as well. Only four arsenal points. Let's get... Max this out. Max out all my weapons. XP. <laughs> Get, um, I, don't know what, I don't know what this is about. That up, I guess. More size, I guess? Let's go for more damage here. Uh, maximum health points. I'm just gonna go all in with the offense right now. Damage, all in, all in. Let's go. Okay, we're out. Let's do. Don't need a repair. Let's get more of this. Reduce this even more. Because I'm hoping that this will increase our our um 
chance at surviving. Now, do I activate one of these abilities here? 11. Nah. Three minutes to go. Oh, maybe I should have. I forgot that there were elites around. I think we'll be fine, though. We have some health pickups as well, and it's still supporting us. Even though we did not get any abilities activated. Oh, I actually and accidentally uh, picked up the uh, the repair right there. Three more minutes to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. Although I do feel like this game has a lot of surprises up its sleeve. It's not gonna be simple. Three minutes, three and a half minutes here. Okay, we got elite. Incoming wave to the upper left. Point the uh, the cannons there. That's the use of the auto cannons now. We did not have that. Oh my gosh! I knew this was gonna be crazy. Okay, we need some health here. Okay, don't don't pick that one up. Auto cannons are pretty good. Where are these elites? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I got lasers. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! We need support. We need support now. Okay. Woo. Woo. Only one arsenal point. Uh, I guess let's get maximum health points. And then let's do... We need repair. I don't think so. Let's do this instead. Let's do... Let's do Bastion mode. How much is this going to cost? 11? I'm going to do it. Let's do it. And then let's reduce this one even further. Oh gosh, that is expensive. Nine seconds. Is it worth it for nine seconds to get this? I'm gonna do it. I wanna survive here as long as we can. There's Bastion. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, that was fun, man. That was fun to support this whole. Oh, shoot. They're still alive. Oh gosh, they got me trapped or something. I'm not moving here. Okay. Okay, we gotta we can't do the twirling here. It's not working. Okay, we need some health pickups. They are super strong right now. Oh gosh, and then another wave. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Where is the health pickup? Oh gosh. Okay. I knew it. I knew those last three minutes would have been crazy. How long did we survive? It is not. So oh, here it is. It's right here in my face. Oh, gosh. Only two minutes to go. Only two minutes and one second to go. Not bad. Not bad. So these are warp cores. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that preview on Phage X Hyperspace Survivors. I definitely enjoyed my time on that run. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the game. And if you want to see more of the game in the channel, I will definitely be playing more of this. Two minutes, man. We only needed two more minutes. So we're... Ah, I gotta get that one. <laughs> anyway, please leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel out. Please do consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one.